What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Nintendo. Nintendo is a genius at starving the market. Nintendo is known for this and it has always worked for them. And if you have a winning strategy, why not continue to use it? <laughs> Perfect example. When Nintendo revealed and launched the Nintendo Wii, they released just enough that it was going to starve the fan base. People were looking all over for them. And so when they finally opened up the floodgates, the Wii became one of the biggest selling consoles of all time. Everybody was looking for it. Years later, we all look back and feel dumb. Like, no, can't believe I spent my money on the Wii. It was such a gimmick. But Nintendo is very smart. They'll release a certain amount of consoles, just enough to <laughs> just enough to get to your front door, but not come inside. Then people start hearing about it. And of course, word of mouth is going across the TV, internet, friends. Everybody's talking about Nintendo's new console and everybody's looking for it. What do you guys think happened with the Nintendo Mini Console? Absolutely that. Despite the few bastards who went and bought them and sold them on eBay or is trying to sell them on eBay for three, four, or five hundred dollars who could kiss my ass because I'm not spending that much money on a Nintendo Wii so you can just take that ad down right now. Thank you. Nintendo has done the same thing. They released just enough of the Nintendo Minis to drive up the fervor and excitement of people and to the point where it's like the biggest thing for the holiday season. And you got to give Nintendo credit. You got to give them credit because this is something they're masters at. And once again, they have duped the population. I'll drop a link in the description. Nintendo Classic Mini NES beats PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox One S in sales. But how? How? According to several reports, Nintendo's throwback NES console is unanimously the hottest gadget this Christmas, despite being considerably less powerful than the Xbox One S and the PlayStation 4 Pro. If the Nintendo Classic Mini stock shortages will prove anything, is that Nintendo has still got that golden touch in it. I just talked about the touch. Mini NES is this year's hottest gadget. The Mini NES may not be as powerful as the Xbox One or the PS4, not supporting any sort of 4K resolution or HDR, as well as can't even connect to the internet. But there can be no doubt that Nintendo's throwback console is this year's hottest gadget to buy. How did Nintendo do it? So with all things said, what is it about the Nintendo Classic Mini that has made it such a surprising success? Experts and game analysts look at how the Nintendo Classic Mini bested the Xbox One and the PS4 Pro to win this year's hottest gadget for Christmas. Simplicity is the key. The biggest problem with the Xbox One S and the PS4 Pro is that it's not really clear who these powerful consoles are aimed at and why we should buy them. The NES, on the other hand, is simple. It is a very direct approach to any gamer, and its games are pretty straightforward and nostalgic. Sometimes the simple ones tend to be the ones that attract the most buyers. Let's face it. Aside from several titles included in the Xbox One and PS4, Sony and Microsoft want you to spend yet another $230 to $350 on upgrading your console. It's no doubt a lot of money to spend if you're already rocking a regular Xbox One and PS4. The Nintendo console only costs $50, no more and no less, and appealing to everyone. With a combination of simplicity and extreme affordability, the Nintendo Classic Mini isn't a technical powerhouse that appeals to just the hardcore gamers, it also appears to the casual ones as well. So, yeah, it's true, man. I mean, who doesn't love the Nintendo? You know, I could pull out an NES right now, put in, you know, Mega Man or put in Mario, and it doesn't matter what era you're from, a kid today will love Mario 3 the same way I loved it when it came out when I was a kid. It's something timeless about these old games on Nintendo. You know, there's games like Castlevania, games like Metroid that really challenge people, that are, you know, easy to get into, hard to beat, that exist and have always existed on the Nintendo, that really it bridges age gaps, it bridges generations. It's an amazing console. And Nintendo's very smart by releasing this $50 little box with 30 of their best games on it. Well, well, 30 games depending on who you ask, because if you ask me, there should have been some different games on it. But once again, Nintendo's done it. These things are sold out like crazy. There were huge lines from every Best Buy and GameStop to get them early before anybody had a chance to play them, which is unfortunate because I was sleeping my ass off when everybody was out getting them. And now I want one and I can't have one. But I just wanted to bring you guys this little bit of news. Nintendo, once again, starred the market, released a great product. Of course, it's sanctioned by Nintendo. It's an official licensed Nintendo product. It's awesome. And I can't wait to get mine. But I'm not going to spend 500 bucks eBay. Not going to do it. Nope, nope, nope. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Should Nintendo do a Super Nintendo Mini and maybe a Nintendo 64 Mini? 
that would be awesome. It would be really, really incredible. I don't know how they would do like the GameCube Mini. It might end up costing a little bit more if they do it, but I would like to see these mini consoles continue. And maybe Sega can make one. It would be really awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give a thumbs up to support the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and if you'd like to support my channel, please go to BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Take a, 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 take a,